Welcome to Disneyland Paris day three. So today I'm very excited. We were actually meant to be getting up for rope drop and the park has currently been open for 40 minutes so far, but we are heading off because we're gonna try and do a full day in the Disneyland Paris park. There's still so much that we haven't managed to do, like Phantom Manor, which I'm really excited about, Pirates of the Caribbean I'm super excited about, and then also we need to look in all the little cute merchandise shops and everything. And if you haven't seen the last vlogs, we've been here three days already and we've done, I keep calling it Hollywood Studios, it's called the Walt, Walt Disney Studios, Walt Studios. Anyway, and we also need to do the castle which I haven't seen because it's got the big dragon underneath. So we're actually going to make our way round to our left because last time we went into the park, we made our way around to the right. So now we're going to start around the other end. And you know one thing I've actually realised about when I go to a Disney park? I always seem to go on the right-hand side of Main Street and walk down that right-hand side. Anyway, let's go. Also, oh, my head must be the same circumference as the moon because I literally get such a bad headache from Disney ears. You'll always see me like, I'll start off with good intentions of wearing my Mickey ears. And then literally within 10 minutes they're off because I really hurt the back of my head. Maybe I need to stretch them out on like a giant beach ball because it literally doesn't fit my head. Literally the Disney balloon is over there. It's probably the same circumference as my head. We've come into Starbucks because Dean wants a pumpkin spice ice latte. I am not gonna get a coffee today even though I really, really love the cream cold brews because I've been getting and making use of the free coffee in our hotel lobby and it is so strong. So I had one yesterday, then I got a pumpkin cream cold Cold brew and I was literally shaking for about two hours it was crazy so I'm gonna skip it today just thought I'd quickly show you in Disney Village as well just outside Starbucks is Billy Bob's Country Western Saloon and it's a buffet Tex-Mex so 40 euros it is all for children 22 euros and there we have it the beautiful entrance to Disneyland oh look they've got the walls around the top for you entrance way a bit. I think it looks so pretty. It's quite busy today. There's quite a lot of people at the gates here. Here we go into the park. Yeah, let's have a look down Main Street, a wander around and take in all the ambience. We're gonna go on this side of Main Street this time and not this side. I always go that side. Let's go this side. decided to go on the uh, railway over here and go all the way around the park and then come back off at Main Street and have a look around because we haven't done this yet and I loved it before. 90 minute wait time. Um, maybe not then. We're not going to do the railroad because it is 90 minutes but the parade is coming down so let's watch it. This song is so catchy, don't you think? I already know it and I haven't even seen it that much. I've always admired those who just do it And they conquered their fears They fall back down and they keep getting up And they try to steer clear I'm afraid, I'll admit What if I'm stuck in my mind? I'm not great Let's have a good time, night of the century 
another parade here in Paris but everyone seems to love that parade and it's a really catchy song. Popcorn smell, it's flooding Main Street right now and it smells delicious doesn't it Dean? You just said, oh my gosh. Oh it's popping, here <laughs> look. There it goes, oh my gosh that smells unreal. It smells like buttery, delicious popcorn. I think we can enter it from here. So you can't go in at the moment because you have to have a reservation or something. She said you can come later though. But look at the little window displays. The art of Disneyland Paris. Oh, I really want to go inside here. We'll have to come in later this evening. Oh, look at this window display over here. Pirates of the Caribbean themed. It's a rum they want. And there's also a Phantom Manor one here as well. Oh, I'm so excited to go on these. We are just heading into the Emporium to have a little look in here. Oh, lots of plush toys. Dean really wants, oh, Mickey's Runaway Railway. Oh, like a figurine set. So, and it's got the railway logo on it. That's so cool. Dean really, really wants. One of my clothes on me, got me a Christmas tree. Yeah, you've seen one in Orlando, and that's what it looks like. It's actually really cute, that, isn't it? I still haven't seen this elemental, but they've got some elemental figures over here. Whoa! Look at the ceiling, Dean, with the Mickeys in the balustrade around the outside and the stained glass windows. How cool is that? What on earth can you see just here? That looks so cool. That's actually really cute. That would be so nice with a pair of jeans. I still absolutely love Stitch as a spider. And then also, Halloween Mickey. Oh, I actually really love the ceiling. That's so cool. We've got some pins over here. Whoa, these are giant. Look how big these pins are. Big, massive ones. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, and Bambi. And then this section, oh, there's Halloween over there, but over here, it's like a little Christmas section. Oh, they've got a little sparkly candy, candy backpack here with little gingerbread Mickey's on. Oh, look at the handles as well. Oh, I really like that. Some cute Christmassy ears with Mickey and Minnie on, a little padded bit. I really like these type of leatherette style ones. I like to collect Christmas ornaments and mag magnets, so before we leave Paris, I do want to get a nice Christmas ornament for our Christmas tree. Uh, anyway, we're ending up in Main Street, and then I think we're going to head to maybe Phantom Manor, and I'll probably do the castle a little later on. And we've just come out of this section on Main Street, and look over here, it says toy chest. We also have Dapper Dan's bar. Barbers, Daffy Dan's haircut. And they've got cute little window displays in here. Oh, is that Pinocchio? I love looking in all the windows. So cute. Oh, it's kind of creepy. I used to be scared about dolls. Wow, inside looks amazing. Look at the detail. I don't think it's open at the minute, but that looks epic. Look at the level of detail on all the buildings and stuff. It's so ornate here. All the little stars and the stained glass everywhere. This takes you through to the Penny Arcade just through here and we also have Walt's restaurant actually here like tap dancing or something coming out of these windows up here somewhere
Island over here. We've got Ursula and we've got Maleficent there, just near the castle. Oh, how cool. And we've also got Jafar. Right, we're about to head into Frontierland, but look how cute this is. There's like a little Mickey pumpkin up here. Can you even see that? Well, maybe you can see it a little bit better now, but look how cute that looks. Lamps and stuff here, how pretty is that? There's also bird noises, and I don't know if it's real or not. And this little river bit running through, and you walk over this wooden bridge here. Very pretty. Oh, I love the theme in here, Legends of the Wild West. I wonder what's up there. We need to go on some rides, but look how cool it is. It's all like built out up here. Like two story and then up at the top we've got some little pumpkin friends can you see we've got one over here oh, we've got one over here if you look really closely as well all the lanterns are like halloween themed with all different color characters on that's such a cute little detail oh my gosh all this halloween stuff looks amazing in this section wow i love it <laughs> Cottonwoods are swaying in the springtime breeze And I see an old jackrabbit who's watching me And I hum a little ditty as I move along And I'm more than halfway We've got our spotted in the background, it's Phantom Manor And also you can hear the tracks of Big Thunder Mountain over here I left out from the city about a week ago And in my saddlebag I've got a petticoat Son is smiling at me, he knows what I know. I'm more than halfway home. And when I well, arrived around here, didn't know they did that here. I honestly love all the Halloween decorations here. I wasn't expecting there to be as many. But anyway, first of all, let's go to Phantom Manor. I remember when I was a kid going on this for the first time, I was genuinely scared of it. Like, I was scared. I think it's slightly more scary than um, the Orlando one. So let's head into Phantom Manor. The way that it says 13 minutes, because 13 is a scary number. music coming out of this little pagoda garden bit. It feels like a massive manor because you walk around these huge gardens. Oh, it's so spooky. There's the wife and the, the nasty man, I think. Where candlelight's figures are ready to hear his death is still. Oh, that's cool. How do we do that? Oh, oh, I feel like we're actually moving. This room's really cool, even the wood panels got bigger. Whoa, I think we actually move on that one. We actually really go down. Whoa. Oh, here's the gallery. Wow, the walls look so cool. Wow. Oh, I think the screens. Very clever. Wow, love the queue in here. It feels like a proper manor. It goes into like this grand entrance hall. Wow, look at that, Dean. What a cool entrance way. It's so grand and big. Oh, are you ready? Then go leave the creature. 
flashes of bright, we summon you now to dance through the night. spooky than um, the Orlando one and I think if you were a kid you'd be a little bit scared of it. Um, I remember being scared of that when I was like 13 when I first came. Uh, but yeah, really cool. I like how big and grand it was. A very cool storyline too. And I also love the cast member's outfit. Look how cool it looks here. And there's the cast member's outfits. I love them. Even now we're going to grab some dinner. And then I'm going to grab something in Frontierland because there's a few different food places and then we'll probably go on the boat and Big Thunder Mountain and then Pirates of the Caribbean. We're heading into the Last Chance Cafe. Oh, maybe we're not because it's closed. Maybe we'll have some luck here at the Lucky Nugget. Oh my goodness, look how cool it is in here. It's like a proper massive saloon bar. I love the cast member outfit. Look at this. You can even sit all the way around here on benches. It's like a proper stage. I wonder if they actually do shows here. Look, you can sit all around here too. I think this is actually kind of like a table service place. They come and serve you. We ended up getting some ribs, uh, a Coke Zero, and you also got like a meal set. So you got like ice cream or fruit salad um, and a drink with it as well. And then I've got a side salad as well because we'll share it. And it was around 29 euros. But the ambiance in here is so good, isn't it? It's even got like a bar. Um, that looks like a proper van. It looks like a proper old saloon theatre. And then I've just noticed on the wall, Dean, look, it's Big Thunder Mountain. Can you see in them Phantom Manor? If you look on the wall just here, it is a little map of uh, Frontierland. And we've got Big Thunder in the middle, which we're going to head to next. We've got Phantom Manor painted in the corner there, if it's focusing. Well, the detail on that is incredible. Another plant of food going out over there. We got a little side salad that's come out there, and you also get this really nice dressing, which is like an oil, and I don't know what else it is, but it's very, very nice. And then we got these ribs, which is quite a big portion, big two big chunky ribs, and onion rings. And this was, and you get fruit salad as well. All this is 29 euros. Also, I was just saying to Dean, it smells like wood fired. I don't know, like oven or like fire, you know, like a proper fire stove. So I wonder if they cook with a proper wood fired stove or grill or smoker. And it really adds to the atmosphere because you can smell like burning wood, almost like a fire pit or a fire, uh, which is kind of like in keeping with the theme here. So it like adds to the ambiance, like the smell adds to the whole ambiance of the place and kind of like transports you back in time. So. It's really nice here actually, the food is delicious. Our desserts come out and it was a choice between fruit salad or an ice cream and much to Dean's dismay, I picked a fruit salad. Don't know what it is with me and Dean on going on big roller coasters straight after eating, but we are now heading onto Big Thunder Mountain, which I'm very excited about because apparently this one is epic. Dead kind of stuff all around this section. Cocoa over here. It is currently a 50 minute wait into Big Thunder, but oh, it's gone down. 
45 minutes. It's like it's a quick service meal. Oh, we should have looked there, it might be Mexican. probably 15 minutes and then the ride's gone down so everyone's leaving the ride at the minute <laughs> I have heard that this ride goes down quite often Big Thunder anyway we're gonna move on to Adventureland maybe and then uh, we need to ride pirates so hopefully that doesn't go down and we get to ride pirates also Phantom Manor went down as well didn't it just after we'd been on so I feel lucky that we got to ride there it's really cool seeing all the Day of the Dead stuff look how cute the Flags are and everything. It's a really cool big one as well. Whoa, all the Halloween stuff is so cool. Look at this scary looking pumpkin. Lost in a dream, the side of the road. Pick me up, yeah, where are we gonna go? Cause I just want to run. Stay the course, out on the coast Surfing the sun, your life is full of love When I'm late I will follow you, oh I will follow you, oh Cause there's an aching old running through my chest Follow you There's a quick service meal here and it smells amazing. They sell pizza, little Mickey head pizzas, but we're heading to Pirate. Oh, Donald and Daisy. I'm meeting people over here as well. Oh, it's really cool around here. Oh yeah, what the heck? Oh, what are the names? Look, it's the up characters just sat on the riverbed here like fishing or something with a little boat. That's so cute. There's also a big epic pirate ship and you can also explore all like these coves and stuff and they've got like bridges and like caves so you like walk around it all. Look at that, there's like a full on waterfall. There we go, we can go to Adventure Isle or Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is a 20 minute wait, but it does look quite busy. The queue goes all the way out here. It looks very impressive around here, I love it. It's like a full-on castle fortress wall. Oh, it smells like Pirates of the Caribbean, if you know what I mean, like the water Disney smell bag. I love this smell. <sighs>
This when you leave pirates. Oh, it's like a pirate themed pumpkin section. We're just walking through like kind of the Aladdin section over here. People are queuing. Whoa, look how cool that looks. Actually, I think we've decided to eat a restaurant Hakuna Attack. So it looks really nice. Is it often? Oh, this is cool in here. Look at the ceiling. Wow, it's all jungle themed. So they've got like curries and stuff. We also have like chicken and rice and stuff. Oh, look at the theming inside this restaurant. I love the tables and chairs. And then look at this big dome in the center. And it's not very busy in here. And it does some nice looking food. So this is what we got. We got sweet potato fries, which look, which look delicious. And then I got a chicken salad and it looks like it's got peanuts and stuff inside there. And then we got a pit of wrap with pulled beef inside it. Mmm, this salad is actually delicious. It's got loads of like, little bits in it like chopped up peppers, tomatoes, beans, like green like type of beans. Anyway we're having a really really chill time today. We've literally have we only done like three rides. Yeah three rides. But it is so nice just like walking around the parks and taking everything in and it's been I feel like September is underrated as a time to come because the weather is literally perfect but obviously all the kids are back at school so if you don't have children or maybe homeschool um, September could be a brilliant time to come, especially for the weather. We found the weather literally perfect. Let's eat this and head to Big Thunder Mountain, hopefully. All right, we're going to attempt to get on Big Thunder Mountain. It is a 45 minute wait, I think. There it goes. Please don't break down. Please let me go on you. Well, I'm strong as a bull. Live from time. I can soup up an old jalopy. And I'm a bullshit son of a gun. I've got a reputation. Adventureland because we want to just go see like all the bits that we kind of skipped to get to Big Thunder uh, so we're gonna have a look around there maybe look in the shops and then I think we're gonna spend the evening down Main Street just gonna have a little explore over here because we haven't really explored this area have a look in the shops and stuff <laughs>
A Aladdin? I have no idea what's in here. Oh, this is cool. It's got like scenes from Aladdin. Oh, the genie of the lamb. Oh, wow, this is so sick, Dean. Here he is with Agrabah behind him. Oh, this is so cool. So you can come and walk around. It's kind of like little models. They can just walk around everywhere. And we're back at the stunning castle and I think we're going to have a little walk inside. to the most beautiful Disney shop in the castle ever. It's all Christmas themed with Christmas ornaments. Oh, there's your train set, Dean. Oh, look at the little fireplace scene. Like with the owl and everything in the little hat. We need to find an ornament to take home for our tree. Our oh, little stitch one. That's there you go, it might not be your train set, Dean, but we can get a little train. It says Disneyland Paris. It's really beautiful looking down Main Street here because you see the big pink Disneyland hotel right at the end in a big pergola it looks beautiful we're currently in the bake shop and we're just gonna get some snacks from main street and then get our spot we got our spot right here on main street we just sat down and i got a quiche a coffee dean got a chocolate cookie and i got a mickey benya and then it should be time to watch the show this is my favorite bit like just chilling down main street like this i love doing stuff like this also these quiches if you get the chance to try and visit in Try it if you like quiches, it's so cheesy, so salty, and so creamy. But what a beautiful view! So, I have just recorded a little mini podcast for my patrons. But can we just appreciate this view right there? Holy smokes, this castle is absolutely glorious. Look at the little purple twinkling lights, also, all the orange glow from all the Halloween lights everywhere. I'm pretty sure this is just a donut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it smells like. Is that what beignets are? I don't know. I don't know what a beignet is. I've never really tried. I think it's like a donut, but this just looks like a normal donut. I'm sure beignets are meant to have loads of ice in the Oh, it's a bit disappointing. It's actually not sweet at all. The ears just taste like plain bread. Mm. There's chocolate in that bit. I think Morrison's 50p donuts are nice in these. Oh, the girls next to us have champagne. You can get champagne down Main Street. We should have done that. Depuis 30 ans, Disneyland Paris accueille les rêveurs de tous les âges du monde entier, en shining from all of our dreams. Alors aujourd'hui, que diriez-vous de ce que vous êtes plus brillant que jamais? Wow, that was so pretty. When you say those words to me, cause happiness is the two of us. Wrapped up in our only love alone Underneath these sheets wow. And I will always think of you It's in everything I do the Sadness is the two of us Separated from our love and we Lie in separate rooms
addicted to your sound If you're talking to me now Every part of you is a part of me Give me life or set me free And I like having you around Oh, I know where this could go And it's filling me with hope Just me and you Never thought I'd feel this new again You make my house a home technology is happening like with the lasers the drones the projection all of it the technology looks amazing and so magical like I can't even believe it what else are they gonna come up with like seriously I hope they start incorporating drones to like every show because it takes over most of the sky and it looks amazing doesn't it I couldn't believe how good it looks I thought that would be better than uh, happy ever after Dean liked it better than happily ever after and that's saying something I got emotional with the drone show but I didn't really the dreams the show afterwards I love happily ever after it's gonna have a special spot in my heart but this song that they've got for the 30th is so catchy monkey sees in me I don't know what they're saying but uh, amazing absolutely amazing and now Because in just 
the next series of vlogs we're going to be doing, we're going to be heading to Orlando. So we're going to be swapping the Sleeping Beauty castle for the Cinderella castle. So if you like Disney content, be sure to subscribe because there's going to be a lot more Disney vlogs coming. And I really want to come back to Paris already. Um, I feel very lucky. We're going to go with my mum and dad. It's going to be very, very fun. Anyway, uh, this rant series is not over because we are going to head tomorrow into Paris for the very first time I've never ever been we're going to be spending three nights in Paris so that's the next vlog anyway we're going to head back to the hotel I'll see you in the next vlog where we will be exploring Paris together hi then thanks so much for watching I love you goodbye